Meir Ezra here with a very important message for you about relationships. Okay, without relationships, there is no life. Yet, relationships are fragile and usually sooner or later get damaged or even destroyed. Watch all the way as it may be one of the most important videos you've watched in the past few months. Now, the word relationship means connection between things. Now, any connection obviously creates friction, unless oil. Uh, any and oil friction will sooner or later bring about destruction, and that destruction will manifest in broken relationship, which means disconnection. Now, why is it uh, a problem We'll go over in a minute, but first, let's look at what kind of relationships people have. So you have husband and wife, parent and children, suppliers and clients, business owners and suppliers, sibling, partners, friends, your relationship with your body, your relationship with your possession, with money, etc. Now, many times, People consider that it is not important to fix broken relationships. But relationship, as we said, is connection. And broken relationship is disconnection. The problem that prerequisite for life is exactly relationship, connection. In fact, if there is life, there is relationship. And if there is no relationship, there is no life. Every time you leave a broken relationship unhandled, it happens since you fail to find the source of the problem. Why it got broken? Now, before you say or think, I know why it happened. It is her fault. I would like to give you a lot. If the reason you give for a problem do not allow you to solve the problem, the reason you gave is not the real reason for the problem, but an effort to avoid handling the actual problem by making someone or something other than yourself wrong. And by the way, your boss, the person you make wrong, become your boss. Why? Because if she is the reason, she is cause and you are effect. She is the boss and you are the slave. But more on that in another video. Now, since you did not uh, fix the cause of the relationship problem, which was the reason for the disconnection, what will happen is that uh, in the next relationship, the source, sooner or later, unbeknown to you, will be reactivated and the next relationship will be destroyed too. You carry with you the mental germs of your own destruction. For example, the statistic says that 50% of all married people in the US get divorced. If you divorced in the past, your chances of getting divorced in your second marriage is between 50 to 75% higher than a first time married person, which means one and a half to two times higher chances of divorce. They obviously did not find the real reason for the relationship problem and carry with them the germs to the next relationship. If a business have a relationship problem with his clients, chances are, that the relationship problems will grow and that the business will have other internal relationship problems. So, if you don't cure the current relationship, you will infect the next relationship as the source of the disease was not handled. It is interesting that those mental germs are contagious and will affect your friends, your children, etc they somehow will also develop similar relationship problems. In fact, all money problem has to do with relationship problems. All health problems has to do, you guessed it, 
with relationship problems. All problems are problems in relationship, problem in connection. If you're fully connected to something, you control that thing. And the further you are from it, the less you will control it. The further you are from someone or something, the less you are in communication with that thing or that person, and the less you can have that thing, and the less you will control that thing. You have, you control, you help only those things you are in communication with. But the source of the relationship problems is so hidden from people that the first thing they do is disconnect. Disconnect communication. And the sad thing is that they disconnect the relationship since they want the relationship. You argue with your wife. You want her to be more in line with you, more in agreement with you, more understand you. And so you disconnect the relationship with your wife. Totally crazy. Cut communication in an effort to control without communication, which is by definition insane. An effort to control without communication. So relationship, a prerequisite for life, yet they more often than not get broken and they must be fixed. But it is not easy to fix them. Often you have strong misemotion, lies, courts, war, emotional charge, and mainly a lot of insanity. But regardless of how bad it seems, if you will not fix the relationship, you will destroy the next one as well as yourself and the things you own in the process. Of course, there are some small percentage, about 2% of cases that is... Uh, more correct to live unfixed at a specific time. But the vast majority must be handled if you intend to progress in your life, to live, to succeed. And hence, it is of utmost important to learn how to create a relationship, to learn how to oil relationships so they will not get broken, and learn how to fix any part of broken relationship. Sometimes the other side is in such bad state and totally unwilling or is not uh, reachable, he die or something. In such a case, believe it or not, you can fix the relationship without the other side present. For example, I help one of my students fix relationship with the person that die, his father. And the magic is, that his current relationship dramatically improved. The reason is we cured the mental germs that caused the problem with his dad. So the problem goes away. So relationship problem is an effort to connect by disconnecting. Yes, it is insane. It is an effort to improve the relationship by hurting the other side, all the while hurting yourself. Relationship problems are always an indication of hidden mental problem. Now, the good news is that there is a specific way to fix any relationship and bring you back to you. I'm sure you think about what if the action of the other side was so very damaging to me and I got hurt, etc.? What if he stole from me or cheated me? Or usually big betrayal comes from close people and the closer that person is, the bigger the pain, the bigger the insult, the bigger the upset. And so you will think, why should I forgive? Why should I give up? It is his fault. Yet, I'm not talking here about forgiveness, as it is a major misunderstanding in the society today. And I will cover it in the Advanced Relationship and Family Academy. What I'm talking about is 
First, spotting and removing the source of the problem, the mental germs you carry with you 24 seven. I would like to invite you to the free Advanced Relationship and Family Academy. Uh, this is an introduction webinar uh, that's not only going to blow your mind, but more importantly, will help you with your current and past relationships and will open the door for you to create an amazing life. Don't miss it. Your life depends on it. Register, find the link, click, and be there. You will thank me. Mir Ezra, guaranteeing your success.